Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. I don't know why I married him. What is the matter? He never see eye to eye with me. That is to say, love is blind. My mom is three years older than my dad, and they are like night and day. My mom is five foot sweet and very nice, and very caring, and very cute. Everybody tells her how young she looks, and how she resembles my sister, perhaps. My father is very much completely opposite that. He is a very by four, on a good day, five foot two, I think in real life, and she is very nice. When is the last time you talked to your parents? I talked to them probably about two weeks ago. Yeah, everything is going well. Are you going to see them soon? I am going to go home after the holidays and we're going to have a Christmas kind of in January or February. Yeah, depending on when my brother can come in. Okay, and who are you more like, your mother or your father? I think I have traits of both, actually. I look more like my mother. To be a revolutionary needs great courage. He must be courageous enough to fly in the face of established authorities. Galileo is one of them. So are Copernicus and many others. And we got a $50,000 ticket for construction workers peeing off the roof. That's great. Is the electrician here today? See, I just told you he hit a deer. Man, I knew you weren't listening to me. You're right. I wasn't. I hear nothing. Nothing? Not a sound on the city streets. Just the beat of my own heart. I think that's how it goes, something like that. You and Patricia got engaged, didn't you? You can tell me. Engaged? Come on. Are you crazy? What? I thought you liked Patricia. Charles, have you finished your homework? Not yet. Grandma, what's the matter? I want you to have a walk with me. I'll finish soon. Hello, George. Haven't seen you for some time. Where have you been? I've been away in Paris for the last two months. Glad to see you again. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Did you have a good time there? Yes, I had a wonderful time. Jimmy, I'd like to wear this robe for tonight's cocktail party. What do you think of it? Don't dress like that. You'll make fool yourself. You look stupid in that robe. What? But it is my favorite piece of clothing. Maybe it is, but it's out of fashion. What am I going to do? Let's go downtown and pick up some fashionable clothes for you. Thanks a million. My pleasure. It was my pleasure. Hi, Francis. Oh. Mike, how are you doing? Not bad. It seems you are super yogurt lover. You have so many in your cart. Well, I prefer yogurt to all the other drinks. Have you ever tried a kind of yogurt with old milk in it? It tastes great and very healthy, too. Oh, I haven't noticed that before. Maybe I will try next time. Why don't you go ahead of me? I have more items than you.
Thank you. In fact, I am in a hurry. My wife is waiting for me at the parking lot. You're welcome. It was good seeing you again. Me too. Have a great day. Honey, would you marry me? I want to think about it for some time. Please, honey, I have made proposals to you 15 times. I know, but your way doesn't touch my heart. Oh, God, please tell me how. I can't tell you. Okay, I want you to be happy when we are together, and when you are sad, I would always stay with you. When I am angry and want to beat someone, you stand there and let me do what I want. Would you? Yes, I would. Thanks for being in my life. Don't be so happy. It is just one of my tests. Hey Rachel, what's up? How is your day? Not bad. We have had a big meeting today, remember? Oh, yay. I forgot. So how did it go? Pretty well. I think the boss liked my ideas. Great. So what happens now? Well, I have to write the proposal. I'm pretty excited about it. It's wonderful to be in the mountains after a hustle-bustle week. Indeed. I love the smell of the grass and trees. They certainly refresh my mind. Can we stop here for a while? My backpack is very heavy. Sure. Did you hear anything? Look, an eagle is hovering in the sky. Let me see. It's not an eagle. I think it's a vulture. Yes. Will it hurt us? I don't think so. Let's walk by the stream. I am sure we can find the waterfall on the map. Okay. I have a good pair of hiking boots. It should not be a big problem. I also brought a bottle of water and some provisions. If you are hungry, you can let me know. You are kind. Look there is a big tree over there. It looks like a thousand-year-old tree. Well, it is a birch tree. It is not as old as you think. How do you know? Because its trunk is not thick enough to be like a thousand-year-old tree. Hello. Green here. Oh, Mr. Green. My name is Jian Shan. You don't know me, but I'm a friend of David Smith. Oh, yes. When I told David the first was coming here to live, he gave me your number and suggest that I give you a ring. I was wondering if you could give me some advices. I'll be pleased to if I can. What can I do for you? Well, I'm looking for a place to live. David thought as you are a at agent. You might know something is suitable. Yes, I think I can help you. Why not you come around and see me? Do you know my office? Yes, I've got the address. Good. Where are you now? I'm at the post office. Oh. Well, that's just a few minutes walk to my office. Come around and see me now. Thank you very much, Mr. Green. Not at all. Have you seen any good movies lately? It's ages since I went to see a film. Why? You were a real movie buff when you were a student. But now I would stay at home watching TV. What would you like to drink? Tea or coffee? Coffee, please. So, you also like coffee? Yes, of course. I can't go through a day without coffee in the morning. 
Me too, but I think we shouldn't drink too much of it, as it's not very healthy. I totally disagree. The other day I read in a book that a number of recent studies suggest that it can be a highly beneficial drink. Researchers have found strong evidence that coffee reduces the risk of several serious AIM-3 including diabetes, heart disease and cirrhosis of the liver. But I also heard that coffee and its caffeine content serve as a drug on the human body that negatively affects the central nervous system, as well as other organs, and leads to addiction. I don't think so. Coffee helps me wake up keep alert, and improve my short-term memory. Well, I am just going to have to disagree with you. A healthy body wakes up without caffeine. Maybe you are right to some extent. You may try to have some alternatives and see how you feel. Maybe I could have a try. Do you know who that tall man is? I don't know, but he must be a big shot. Why? Because everyone is trying to butter him up. Excuse me, is anyone sitting here? No, nobody. You don't mind if I smoke, do you? Well, to be frank, yes, I do. Oh. I'm sorry, but this isn't a no-smoker, isn't it? I mean would you mind if I smoke here? Actually it is. Perhaps you haven't noticed the sign. Sign? What sign? There, on the window. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice it. Sorry. That's all right. How was the movie last night? I didn't really like it. Mary said that she was really pleased with the photography. I found it very disappointing. She liked the acting, too, because that's what she wanted to see. I wasn't happy with it. Nothing is to your satisfaction. Happy birthday, Ms. Lin. Here is a present for you. Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you. Ah, it is a porcelain vase. I hope you like it. Yes, it is lovely. I have been expecting something like this for a long time. Thanks ever so much. I am glad you like it. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.